Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Harvey. I'm a Cisco security engineer. Currently working uh, for Cisco. In today's video, uh, we will do some configuration with Cisco Ice and Azure ID. So as you can see over here, uh, we are currently using the internal database. So the idea behind this is to use any available uh, Azure ID user in order to get access to ICE, okay? So let's get started. Okay, let's log in into ICE. For this scenario, we are currently using ICE 3.1 with patch number six. Okay, let's do it. Let's go to administration and let's click external identity sources. Over here, we will click SAML and then uh, we will add a new identity provider. The name here is up to you. I will use Azure, however you can use any name you want. Let's click submit. And before doing anything else, let's go back to administration and then let's go back to admin access. Under admin access, as you can see, we are using the internal database. Uh, so what we want to do right here is to select Azure. Okay, let's click save. Okay, let's go back to administration and then identity sources. Over here, let's click SAML, let's click Azure. And let's click uh, the provider information. Over here, what we're going to do is pretty much to export the XML information for guys. This is the information that we will be using under the Azure uh, ID. Okay. We will get this file. And we need to open this uh, XML file with a notepad. Okay. Okay, let's open the file. Okay, under um, this um, XML file, what we need to use uh, is pretty much uh, the entity ID. Okay, let me change this. Okay, got it. Okay, as you can see over here, we have the entity ID. We need to use the URL. And also, we need to use the location URL. Here we have the first one and we should have another one. Okay, here we have it. So, okay, perfect. Okay, that, that's pretty much the information that we need from ICE. So let's go uh, to Azure ID. In Azure ID, what we need uh, is pretty much to create a username, the username, the group, and the application, okay? So the first step will be to create the user that we'll be using for the uh, to log into ICE. Then we will use the group and we will create the application. For the username, you can pretty much create a new one. Uh, in this case, over here, I already have the username. I will use my own username, but you can create a new one if, if you want. Okay, that's up to you. So that will be a step number one. Uh, okay, so let's create a group. Okay, let's do it. The type will be security and the name, again, that will be up to you, okay? Okay, let's click create at the bottom. And now we should have the group, okay? Now, also, uh, in this case, we need to add our username or the one that we created uh, to the group that we created as well, okay? So let's select the group and let's add uh, a new member. Yes, as you can see over here, we have zero members. So let's add the username that we created. Okay, let's add member. And let's search for our username. That'll be Harvey. Okay, perfect. 
Okay, perfect. Okay, now that we have the group created, so what we need to do is to create the application. So let's click over here, Enterprise uh, Application. Okay, let's create your own application. As per documentation, let's use the option number three. And let's add a name over here. Again, the name here is up to you, okay? This is the one that I'll be using. Let's click Create. And let's wait uh, a few seconds for this to complete. Okay, perfect. Now we have our application available. So now, uh, before we created the group, so what we need to do right now is pretty much to add the group uh, to the application. Okay, let's select the option number one here. Okay, let's add a new user group. Let's select this option. And let's search for the group that we created. Okay. Then assigned. Perfect. Now we have uh, our application and the group available. Okay. Let's click overview. And let's select the option number two. Set up a single sign on. Okay. Let's click it. Okay, uh, here we will be using uh, SAML only, so let's click the second option. Okay, over here we have different options. Um, the basic SAML configuration, the attributes and claim, and the SAML certificate. So let's work with the option number one. Let's click edit. Uh, here uh, we'll be adding the information that we uh, got from ICE, from the XML uh, file. So let's open up the notepad <clears throat> and let's add the identifier or the entity ID. So this will be the URL. Let's copy and paste. Okay, let's copy and paste over here. Okay, perfect. Okay, also we will need the, uh, the reply URL. Okay, let's get it from the notepad as well and let's copy the location URL uh, let me copy the one with the IP address and I will be adding the one with the FQDM as well okay Okay, perfect. That's all we need. Let's click uh, Save at the top. Okay, we can close this. So we added or we completed this step number one. So let's now work with the attributes and claims. So let's click Edit. At the top, let's click Add a Group Claim with the second option and let's add the group plane that will be a security group and let's click advanced options and let's click the second checkbox that you see over here let's add the name that will be groups as you can see and that's all we need let's click save Okay, perfect. We have it over here. Okay, let's go back. Samo. And let's work with the. Okay, we completed the step number two. So now let's work with the option number three, Samo certificates. So over here, pretty much what we need is just to export the XML data that you see here. So let's click here and we will import 
this information into Cisco Eyes, okay? okay? Here we have the XML. So let's go back to Eyes. Okay. Let me refresh this. Okay, SAMO. Let's click Azure. And let's click service or sorry, identity provider configuration. Let's select the file. Okay. Open. And let's click uh, save. Now let's do the group configuration. Here will be uh, groups as per documentation. Let's click add. And the name um in assertion that will be the group id that we created on azure id so let's go back to azure now let's search for the group that we created okay okay perfect here we have it and let's copy the object id okay copy let's go back twice and let's copy and paste or just paste. Okay, here uh, the naming eyes uh, there will be a super admin for me. So let me select super admin. Let's click uh, add. Okay, and let's click uh, save. Okay, so that's pretty much what we need. So at this point, we are actually ready for testing. Okay, we can do some testing. Let me let me log out. And now, as you can see over here, we have the SAML option available to use. Okay, let's click it. Okay, for me, uh, I didn't get a prompt. I'm already logging into the Azure account, so that that's why I didn't get. The option to enter a user or password or something like that so let me try something else let me log out and let me open a new window okay let's click XAML okay let me add uh, the username the one that we created or in this case I will use my username Okay, let me add the password and sign in. Okay, let me approve the request on my phone. So in this case, uh, for this specific account, I do have MFA uh, set up under the Azure ID. So if you want to add an extra layer of security, you can do it as well. Okay, let me... Uh, Approve the request. Okay, got it. Okay. So now it should be working. So that's pretty much all the configuration that you need. So if you need anything else or you have any question or issues with the configuration, so please just let me know. Okay. So until the next video, bye bye.